Good morning, everybody, from the Al Farouk Hotel here in the town of Chitral in KPK province of northwestern Pakistan. Um, today actually marks the start of my last adventure in the mountains of Pakistan. Uh, after this, I just have two more cities to visit, and then my time here will be complete. It'll be just over two months that I spent in this beautiful country. But uh, anyway, I will be heading to one of the three Kalash Valleys today. From here in Chitral, I'm hoping to find a public jeep to take me to the Bamburat Valley. I believe it's the most popular of the three valleys. And I'll be heading to Krakow Village to try to beat any tourist crowds. I believe it's the last Kalash Village. Um, and then after that, there's one more village of Nuristani people um, from the neighboring border province of Nuristan in Afghanistan um, because the border is right there. So once I get there, uh, depending on the time, I'll spend the rest of the day wandering around the villages in the Bamburad Valley, or if I don't have much time, I'll spend all of tomorrow doing that. Um, but then after I'm satisfied in Bamburad, I'm going to hire a local guide. I know I don't usually hire guides to go trekking, but uh, there's only 3,000 Kalash people left. And if I get to have one-on-one -on -one time with a Kalash person in the wilderness, um, I think that's a good idea. Plus, I read a lot of the money that's generated for tourism there doesn't actually reach the Kalash people. So I'm staying at a Kalash-owned hotel. I want to hire a Kalash guy to go trekking. And uh, I just want this to be about the Kalash people. And I'm really interested to learn about their culture. I guess maybe I should give a quick background about the Kalash people since I haven't done that yet. Um, they're very unique people, uh, indigenous to this part of Pakistan. Um, they're not Muslim. They have their own religion, um, their own way of life. But uh, from what I've read, um, they've now been overrun by Muslim people from immigration and also converted Kalash people. So that's quite interesting. Um, it's going to be interesting to see the mix of cultures there. They also have a very unique and colorful style of dress, uh, different from uh, any ethnic group I've seen in Pakistan so far. Um, they also live, from what I've read, a more liberal life than the rest of Pakistan. But of course, I'm just going to go there and observe, uh, respect the culture accordingly, and uh, just try to learn as much as I can. I'm really excited to start this last leg of my journey here in Pakistan. I'm always eager to have new cultural experiences, especially with indigenous people living in remote villages in the mountains. That's, uh, that's one of the main reasons I travel, honestly. That's right up my alley. But uh, anyway, it's time to start the day. I'm gonna head back to my room and finish packing, grab some breakfast here in town, and then uh, head to the Jeep stand labeled on my map and hopefully find a public jeep to Bamburat Valley.
From this town? Uh, no, I'm uh, uh, far from that. Uh, Drosh. Drosh, okay. Drosh, uh, it's going, very close to Going Mumbai. to Peshawar. Uh, yeah. That yeah, way, yeah. that side. Okay, nice. Yeah, I like this I like this town. This celebration today, what is this? Well, it's just uh, your uh, parties, uh, something. Political or? Political. Politics, yeah. Politics. yeah. But it's good. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, okay. Nice. Are you alone or someone else? I'm alone, yeah. Cool. There's public transport? No public transport. Okay, good. Thank you for your help. It's okay. <laughs> I think it's this one, right? So, I'm going to go now. <laughs> this is, this is going to I'm the first per, first passenger. No, no. No, many people. This one. The wheat whip. I love this car. 500. Uh, Sanso, okay. Okay. Full once. Uh, no, uh, this uh, this place, the front. Okay. See? But public transport, uh, public transport. people here and oh, yeah, yeah. shared taxi. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Say. Thank you so much. <laughs>
Hey guys, so we've made it to the village of Ayun. Uh, it's pretty much the last village before you start heading up the Kalash Valley Road towards the Three Valleys. Um, we just stopped here for a cold drink. I'm just making a video. Do you want to be in it? No? <laughs> this kid is so cute. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm in Ayun now. We stopped for some cold drinks and they also said it was time to pray. Uh, they said it would take 50 minutes and uh, we'll be leaving again at 1 p.m. Meaning I'll have about half a day exploring uh, Bamburat Valley. Um, <laughs> can you see me? Um, there is a Kalash Museum I would like to explore once I get there. Um, so I'll probably get dropped off early. I think it's in the village of Brun, which is before Karakal, Karakal, Katakal village where I'm staying. And uh, so I want to check out the museum. Uh, I think it's the quickest and best way to learn about the Kalash culture before I immerse myself into the valleys and see it for myself. So uh, just gonna enjoy my short time here in Ayun village. Let everybody pray. Um, we should be on our way to Bambarad Valley shortly. All right, guys, so I've made it to the Bambares Valley. Um, definitely seeing 
a lot more uh, everyday Chitrali people as opposed to Kalash people. Um, but when I see Kalash women or kids, they definitely stand out with their dress. Their faces look a lot different. Such beautiful people. Everyone here is beautiful, of course, but... Um... Hey there. I'm not even sure I would recognize a Kalash, Kalasha man because from what I read, they dress like Chitrali people. But, um, oh, another thing, I got dropped off at the museum and it's closed today. Uh, someone told me it's a holiday. So that is a huge bummer. That was going to be a big source of learning and information about the area for me. So now I'm torn on whether to stay another day so I can visit the museum or start my trek tomorrow because it is very true there is not much to do here at all but uh, the views are beautiful but um, it's really just tiny villages with tons of hotels small shops um, but I'm just so happy to be out here the weather's so nice right now the sun's not blaring down on me and uh, now I'm making my way to Ketakal village from the village of Brun. It's quite a long walk, but um, it's better to walk than to ride in a car. Um, I get to experience more. So um, even if I just walk to the village and don't talk to anyone, <laughs> it's okay. I'm happy to be here. Like I said, this isn't a sightseeing place. It's just a place to come and relax and try to learn about the local culture. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I don't have my hotel on any map. Like I said, I don't think um, it's the most frequented one, but it's owned by a Kalasha man. Um, that's one of the main reasons I'm staying there. So uh, this is this is great. So different from Gilgit Baltistan. So different. I love it here. So I'm going to keep walking and try to find my hotel once I make it to Ketakal village. Hello. Hi. Esparta. Esparta, bye. 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 Esparta, bye